Hello, it's Mark, aka The Resentist. Right, I'm going to a little play today. I'm going to mix up some red, some blue, some yellow. I'm going to mix some red and blue together to make a purple. That's a blue mica, purple mica, red mica, yellow mica. Also going to put some silver in the middle, which is a mix of ultra fine silver glitter, cheap as chips on Amazon, and some holographic fine glitter <clears throat> then in so I'm going to do one 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 and then repeat repeat going to try free plane stir free and free with the white sinker and then the very bottom free after I'm going to add a little bit of silicone just to see what it does out of interest and I will be adding a little bit of alcohol to each of these just to thin them out a little bit so I'm gonna get mixing I'm gonna pause because you don't want to see all that rubbish and it's gonna take ages otherwise so I'll see you in a bit right I've mixed up all my colors it's been about 25 minutes now I added my silver it has sunk I don't know if it's gonna spread we'll see so let's get down to this, the busy busy stuff. So I'm going to start with blue and yellow first. And just go along the top. Then I'm going to go blue, red and yellow across the middle. And then purple, red and yellow along the bottom, hopefully. Go to about 10. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. It's about 15 drops of alcohol in there. Give that a quick squiggle. Let's see if I can remember what colours I said I was going to go where. Blue and yellow across the top. I oh, will go red and yellow in the middle. Here we go, red, yellow, and purple in the middle, and then all three colours at the bottom. If they'll stretch that far. Right. See how we go. Keep things clean as we go. So, Alexa, stop. It's my timer just to remind me. Go. Drop. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh dear. Yeah, what we'll kind of change our design as we go? Why not? It's a free for all experiment just to see. I can always look back and see which ones did the best.
Make yourself mix up more, especially your color. So there's a little tip for you. All right. At this point, so this is going to take me ages. Right, let's go for the blue. Let's see how we go with the blue. Whilst I'm thinking about that and my designs, I'm gonna go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About twenty drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Just because the alcohol will slow down and thin out our resin, they are spreading out very slowly. But hey, they're spreading. Kind of what I was hoping for. God knows what the sinker and the silicone is going to do. Silicone must be just, you know, I might not even bother with the silicone. Especially just going to create dents. Look at me not wearing gloves. God, what am I like? They're right here behind me. Sorry guys. Always wear PP. Oh, I am so sorry. They're on now. My better gloves. Fair these for things like this. Right. Let's go on with the blue. This is a bit thinner. So I was gonna try and go and oh Try and rain that one off a bit. And we'll just get one down here. 
one randomly up there. One up there. And one over there. One there. One there. Whatever, right. right. Let's try and keep a bit of a uniform. Um. Right. That's about it for a blue. Definitely have to think about mixing more up next time, colour wise. Right. And for a red.
I'll call it a day with the red. Tickly spread in a bit. <clears throat> Sorry, it's taking so long, guys. Right, I think we crowded enough. <clears throat> Not doing the recycling. Clean myself up a minute. I pause you for a few minutes. Yeah. Sorry guys. I'm gonna pause you for a few secs. Be back in a sec. Right, back again. I've decided I'm just going to put the sinker on these three then I'm going to be doing flowers with these stirring with them and stirring with them so let's give <coughs> my homemade sage, homemade sinker using I put my hands on it quite easily yes I can my type Titanium dioxide white mica powder. It's makeup grade. So, around about half a gram of that, a ball bearing, alcohol ink, and a little bit of white. <clears throat> Put my hands on it. I did earlier on straight away. Oh god! Why is it when you want two sets? People, excuse my head. 
there we go so this white pigment here I think it's alcohol uh, non alcohol could be wrong could be my alcohol no it is like a UV type anyway Like I say, just under half a gram, it's about 0 0.4 grams actually, of the titanium white dioxide to 10 mil of alcohol. I'm literally going to try and do one drop per dot of colour. It might not be heavy enough to sink these colours. Oh, two drops there. We'll leave that for a few seconds to see how it goes. I think with this one, because they've spread so well. <coughs> see, I can, don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see it pushing. The colour is about. I think I'm just gonna. I know the white. Let's try working our way from the oh, from the middle outwards. Have you been doing so much? Did I say I was going to leave those to stir flour? Yeah. Okay, so I did say I was going to see what silicone does. Whoa. Maybe not them. I might just spew out everywhere, I don't know why. That's come out of a spray can, but don't know what that was all about. Might have to cut that out. Never mind. No, I won't cut it out. Accents do happen. Right. Now we're gonna leave that there. For about another 10 minutes or so, I'm going to check it every now and again for Yeah, it's definitely not ready yet. What I want is a bit of a... So I'm going to stick this in and pull it out of the clear. I don't know if you can see this, but it, it just comes away really easy. I don't want it to come away. I want it to be like stringy see you in a minute right time for a moaning pop that over there out of the way a minute where I forgot to say I put lollipop sticks under the sides because for some reason even though I've got the texture leveling table to make sure everything's level Part of me, it um, this mold for some reason, once you pour the resin in, tends to want to dip down on the side for some reason. Don't know why. Right, so got the free with the sinker in. I got a feeling these are gonna blob. Who knows? Then we got the stirs, 
flower effect. We'll see how it goes. This was just a mess about play with my inks. So, I'll try and keep them. Excuse me. Try and keep them. Wait, that's still in view. Yeah, we'll check on that in a minute. Yeah. So, it's Bruce in the background, if you can hear clitter clatters, it's his pools, put that under there at the way. Right then. Uh, let's go for these first because I'm quite sure they're going to be blobbed. There you go. Although, it doesn't look too bad the texture. Let me bring that up there. The texture on those detail is amazing. Shame my ring light it's kind of glaring. Okay. I'm going to stand up do this. So. Oh. Chaos. I don't know. Oh, we got pinks. Oh, wow. Actually, I don't know if you guys pick all that up on my camera but that's kind of cute not what I wanted but um Vegas Vegas kind of got like mushrooms If you can see that very well, the glare. I quite like that. Even though it looks a bit like chaos. This one. Let's see my mould. I need new mould now. It's lost its shine. Oh, sorry. Light. Let's try that. That's a bit better. Yeah. Shame it's a bit dull, but I can rub a bit of tea cut over that and it will shine properly. That's some beautiful spores. Why? Wow. Okay. It Mainly educational purposes. I know now that a little bit less white sinker, and I can create some amazing spores using this method. I'll have to go back to this video oh, to remind myself what I did, but that's why it's good to make videos. Right, let's rush through these now. Okay, again, it's not lost its shine. Well, that is very nice. I even like the purple in that. Very retro 60s. Now with a sinker on that, that would have looked amazing. I quite like that. That's good. This one was, I'm going to leave this one to last because that was my favourite yesterday. Mm -hmm. If I had to put the red in there, it'd be a Ukraine style one. But still, is it Dutch flag, red, blue, and yellow? I can't remember. Or Denmark. That's that's pretty cute as well. There's flowery style. Oh yeah. I'm going to back that in black, 
polish it. I put photos of the finished products at the very end of this video. Quite quite like that. Nice bit of feathering. Not much spreading. Again, my mould's definitely lost its shine. Never mind. I'll try it with a bit of silicone spray in it. See if that revives it a bit. Shame. It's quite nice. Another 60s, 70s star wallpaper. That'd make a nice brooch. Yeah, I quite... I, I like that actually. Right, down to the last one. Like I said, this one was kind of my favourite from the back. Oh yeah. Oh, it's definitely my favourite. That's quite a good effect. See, playing sometimes lets you know what works and what don't work. Even the purple works. Not red and yellow and blue. You just see the mica. Especially here. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. That swoosh there. Just here. Definitely the mica. But yeah, they need tea cutting to bring the back to shine. I'll do that at the end. Never mind. Okay, um, I'm going to end it there. There the old lar. Some coasters in the background. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. I'll work on the method. Definitely with these sinkers. Because that one and that one and that one really. Kind of a bit too much sinker. A little bit less. I mean, that one looks like a party gone wrong. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now, guys. Cheers. Bye. If you like, then hit the like button. Please follow. It helps with algorithms and my videos getting seen more. Um, make a comment whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether you'd like to see something else. Anything. Let me know. The Resentist. Bye.